opposite bar made of the bars are stress free at a temperature of 38 degrees celsius what will be the stresses in the two bars when the temperature is 21 degrees celsius length of bar full stop take e for steel as 200 gp and e for aluminum as 75 gp and coefficient of expansion for steel as 11.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 for degree celsius and coefficient of expansion for aluminum as 23.4 into 10 raised to minus 6 per c okay so first of all write down the given data for that so this is the area of steel is given is equal to 1000 mm square 1000 mm square then length of steel bar it is ls which is denoted by ls will be 600 mm 600 mm then area of aluminium that is one we can say it is a okay so it will be 500 mm square 500 mm square then length of aluminium bar it is given l a is equal to it is 300 mm 300 mm then temperature it is given t is equal to temperature it can say it is 3 to minus 3 it 3 to minus t1 38 degrees celsius minus 21 it will be get temperature 38 minus 21 it will be 17 degrees celsius. 17 degrees celsius okay then next one it is coefficient of thermal coefficient of thermal expansion for till it is given that is equal to pi a or first of all write down modulus of elasticity es for steel it is es it is 200 g 200 gpa so convert it is in newton per mm square convert it is in newton per mm square so that is means 200 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 10 raised to the power 3 newton per mm square newton per mm square then modulus of elasticity for Aluminium it is 75 GPA, 75 GPA. So convert this one as also in Newton per mm square. That is means 75 into 10 raised to the power 3, 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per mm square, Newton per mm square. And coefficient of thermal expansion for steel, that means it is alpha s, alpha s, it is given, alpha s is equal to coefficient of thermal expansion for till it is 11.7 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree celsius per degree celsius okay that is per degree celsius then next one it is coefficient of thermal expansion for aluminum that is alpha a alpha a it is given alpha a is equal to alpha a is equal to so this one it is 23.4 23.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 minus 6 per Celsius per Celsius. Okay. So this data it is given for calculating the stresses in steel and aluminum. Okay. So next calculate. Load load due to temperature due to temperature rises load due to temperature rises rises applied at end applied at active or active at end okay so due to uh, due to temperature this steel and aluminum bar try to expand but at end it will be fixed end so it should be try to compact to this member okay so there will be two forces it will be acted so we can say it is ps is equal to p p okay so ps means it is sigma s into a s 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 is equal to sigma s this process due to steel and cross sectional area of steel and sigma a it is Stresses due to aluminium into area of aluminium. Okay. Compare this quantities. Write down. 
sigma s is equal to 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 a divided by area of aluminium divided by area of aluminium divided by a s a s into sigma a into sigma a into sigma a so we will be get one relation from this so a area of aluminium it is 500 500 divided by 500 divided by area of steel it will be 1000 1000 into sigma a into sigma a into sigma a it will be get one relation sigma s is equal to sigma s place in steel is equal to place in steel is equal to place in steel is equal to 500 divided by 1000 will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 into sigma a 0 0.5 into sigma a. so write down this one it is equation number one this is equation number one Now, total elongation, total elongation, elongation, elongation in steel and aluminum bar, in steel and aluminum bar, and aluminum bar, aluminum bar. Just assume it is free to expand, okay? Just assume it is free to expand, that is, delta L is equal to total elongation delta L is equal to delta L S plus delta L S means elongation due to steel bar elongation due to steel bar plus elongation due to aluminum bar delta L A elongation due to aluminum bar delta L A okay. delta L it is elongation due to aluminum bar okay. first of all calculate elongation due to steel bar Delta L S is equal to delta L S is equal to delta L S is equal to L S length of steel bar into alpha S coefficient of thermal expansion due to steel alpha S into into T into T. So it will be get alpha ls length due to steel bar it is 600 so alpha s it will be l1.7 l1.7 into 10 to the power minus 6 into t so t it will be it will be 70 70 it will be at delta ls from this relation so delta ls is equal to delta ls is equal to elongation in steel bar is equal to so this one 600, 600 into L1.7 into 10 to the power, 10 to the, 10 to the power minus 6 into 70. So it will be point, point 0.119 and 0.119. Okay, so this one it is elongation in steel bar. Elongation in aluminum, elongation in aluminum, elongation in aluminum, delta LA. Delta L A is equal to delta L A is equal to L A L A into alpha A coefficient of thermal expansion due to aluminum that is not it is alpha A into 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 T into T it will get L A it is three hundred mm three hundred mm and alpha A it is how much alpha a it is 23.4 23.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 into t it is 70 t it is 70 so it will be get elongation due to elongation due to elongation in aluminum bar 23.4 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 into 17 point 
minus 3 sigma s sigma s sigma s sigma s plus 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 300 divided by 75 into 10 raised to the power 3 so it will be 4 into 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 that is sigma s that is sigma s sigma s sigma s so we know that one relation sigma s form equation one sigma s is equal to we know that sigma s is equal to 0.5 sigma s 0.5 sigma s 0.5 sigma s from the equation one okay put this value in equation two this one we call equation number two equation number two put this value in equation two so 0 0.238 0 0.238 is equal to sigma s is equal to 0 0.5 sigma s so 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 0 0.5 so it will be 1.5 1.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 into sigma s sigma s sigma a this is in aluminium then plus then plus then plus 4 into and that's the power minus 3 into sigma a sigma a so from this equation we will get the sigma a so sigma a is equal to such a set aluminium is equal to such a set aluminium is equal to 1.5 plus 4 1 1.5 plus 4 to 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So 0 0.238, 0 0.238 divided by 5.5 into 10 to the power. It will be at 43.272 in Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square or MP or MP. Okay. So sigma s is equal to, we know that sigma s is equal to Sigma s is equal to sigma s is equal to 0.5 sigma s. 0.5 sigma s is equal to 0.5 into sigma s into sigma s. 0.5 into sigma s. That is is equal to 0.5 into 43.43.274. That is stresses in steel. Sigma S is equal to into point five into forty three point two. So it will be twenty one point six three six three Newton per mm square or MP or MP. So this is stresses in steel and stresses in steel and and aluminum. So this one is stresses in steel and stresses in aluminum okay. due to rises in temperature at the end at end it will be fixed there. Okay. At the end at end if 